In this problem, we have a bowling ball with a velocity of plus v. Um, when it collides with a ping pong ball uh, that is at rest with a velocity v equals zero. The velocity of the bowling ball is virtually unaffected by the collision. What is the speed of the ping pong ball? Well, this is one of our special cases. We've got one object whose mass is very, very much larger than that of the other object. And as a consequence, its momentum and therefore its velocity is unchanged by the collision. So uh, this is one of those simple cases we discussed. So reviewing our information, we have that the velocity of the bowling ball before is positive v, that of the ping pong ball is zero initially, and afterwards the bowling ball continues with a velocity positive v, and we're trying to find the velocity of the ping pong ball afterwards, that's v2 prime. Well, we can use our expression for elastic collisions, v1 plus v1 prime equals v2 plus v2 prime. And we recognize that v1 and v1 prime are the same. They're unchanged. So we're going to make use of that. And we're trying to find v2 prime. So the first thing we'll do is we'll subtract v2 from both sides so that we can get the speed of the ping pong ball afterwards. And then we'll make the appropriate substitutions. Again v1 and v1 prime for the bowling ball are the same before and after. We'll call them v. And the speed of the ping pong ball initially is zero. So that's what we'll subtract. So what we find is that the speed of the ping pong ball, v2, is just twice that of the bowling ball. 